Hi, I'm Dr. Shamrock, CEO of Exampro. I want to welcome you to our weekly blog on cases construction. It's really critical to appreciate that your case list represents 50% of your exam. By creating your ideal case list, which is easy to defend, you set yourself up for success before you even walk into your exam room. A bad case list can easily set you up for failure. We know that if you utilize Examplos ideas, techniques and tools, it can make the difference between becoming board certified or not. Hi to all candidates listening in. You're invited to call me or email me your toughest case for us to discuss online. Tammy, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Go ahead and pose your question. Okay. Um, my question, my first question is um, regarding um, obstetrical patients. Um, I'm concerned whether or not I have to include um, antepartum patients that were in, you know, on the antepartum unit maybe a day or two, and then were discharged home undelivered. Okay. The, the short answer is yes. As long as it doesn't make too much of a, a, a major or distort your exam, your caseless statistics, which I doubt is the case. Any non-delivered patient, for example, preterm labor, uh, antepartum bleeding, uh, any patient who's admitted, when you hand your cases to the medical records department, they're going to pull up that name and number as a patient that you managed. And as such, you need to include it on your case list. Now, to what extent are you involved? If you admitted the patient, if you think about any non-delivered admission, 90 to 95% of the patient care is taken care of in the initial H&P, the initial examination. An assessment. So if you admit to the patient, uh, she's pretty much yours, and it's the, probably the appropriate thing to include the case on your list. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, another question that I had um, is, um, I, you know, I'm in a, um, a large group practice. If I admitted somebody, you know, um, an example is there is a, a gal that I admitted recently, who in the exam, delivered. please don't call her a gal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm, I'm being picky, but I, this is part of the oral exam technique. With colleagues and with me, absolutely. But in the exam, it's obviously going to be a patient, okay? Patient, okay. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. No, I appreciate the help. Uh, a patient that was readmitted um, for a post-operative um, hematoma, um, I, ad I admitted her, but I wasn't the one who delivered her. Um, you know, she, when she came back in for pain, do I, ha do I have to count her on my case list? She was delivered, let me make sure I understand this. She was delivered by a colleague yes. and um, sent home, and yes. then she, you readmitted the patient. She's now postpartum admission. Right. Okay, so the, the, again, the short answer is yes, you do need to include her on your list. This is a very good question. Think about it this way. All the other patients virtually, when you see them, when you see them for the first time, they're going to be in the anti-partum or pre-delivered state. So there'll be, for example, a gravita one para zero. Right. Okay. This patient, when you, when you start entering her, you make her a gravita one para one which immediately tells us if she's on the OB list, she's a postpartum patient, and you start off with the postpartum complication. So it would be a post day, sorry, postpartum day two with bleeding, presents with bleeding, and then the management be whatever it is and the length of stay, whatever it was for that second admission. Okay. okay. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Okay. Thank you for joining us. After doing this for 20 years, it's been my experience that those people who unfortunately fail do not fail because of knowledge. They fail because of poor exam technique. So please, don't worry about the knowledge issue. You've got it.
just practice and concentrate on how to present in an effective way in the exam. Forward to seeing you next week when ExamPro again will tackle the tough cases.